Hello to everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to introduce new major update of GreenShift plugin which improves your productivity with new visual design building element. When you add blocks of GreenShift plugin in editor, you will see several new toolbar icons. Let's click on them. Now, you can drag trigger and easily change border radius visually. When you are happy with results, click to apply radius and remove trigger point. Next visual option is spacing. Move cursor to most bottom or top point and drag it down. You will see that we change our margin from top or bottom point. If you need more complex spacing options, click on special toolbar icon to open spacing panel. Toolbar panels have most common used options. More advanced options can be found in inspector in right panel. You can also disable all spacing options by clicking on reset button. The next visual helper is resizing. Click on icon and you will see drag trigger on each axis where you can change width and height. Visual helpers are not replacement for inspector panels. This is just helper to improve your productivity. If you don't like results, you can revert them back to value which was set before you enabled resizing. The next option is Visuac Position. This option will use absolute positioning so be careful with it. Make sure that your block has parent container because it will be positioned relative to parent block position. Let's add some image with alpha channel and resize it. Now, click on position icon and enable visual position drag mode. You can move your element in place where you need it by mouse. Depending on side where you added item, left or right position will be used. Each block can have different context toolbar icons, depending on options, which are available in blocks. For example, in button block, we have also typography icon where you can set your basic typography and background options. Next option is flexible align, which is available on containers, rows, and columns. This option allows to change inner spacing from regular to flexible. The same as in other visual helpers, you can fine-tune options also in Inspector. Let's go further. And next visual helper is available in CSS grid and row blocks. Now, when you select CSS grid block and click on edit icon in block or in custom template field, you will get to visual builder where you can set width and height of items and add row and column gaps. You can also set variable width and height for each cell of grid. When you have done with settings, click to apply grid template. CSS Grid is a very powerful tool for layout building and I believe that it will replace all other layout tools in the future. The key difference from other content layout tools is that you can create not only template of grid but also assign flexible rules to each item in grid. You can change grid layout in any time or per resolution, and this will not destroy inner content. You can assign also specific option for each cell item to make custom unique layouts. And another benefit of using CSS grid is that it can have custom range and overflowed cells.
This is all for today and let's see you in next videos.